you guys. This is going to be the relationship reading that I promised you. Um, I'm going to start by pulling a card, which is going to be the theme for the energies of the reading. Um, I think in most circumstances, we'll see what comes out, but in most circumstances, this would be like a um, domestic partnership, um, a love relationship. We'll see what comes out. It could be um, some other relationship that is important to you. But I am intending it to be your relationship. Relationship. Spirit, what do we have today? To the sea. One more. They're telling me to pull another one. Just stumping me today. All right. Okay. So there's something here about um, needing to be. What I'm really getting is there's something here about needing to be in the flow. Um, to the sea um, speaks of the emotion. There's something very um, emotional about this situation. And there's something going on with how you are observing it because this is inverted. The observer card is about becoming the observer. It's about learning to step back and be more um, objective, to remove ourselves from all of the feelings that we can get caught up in and all the stories that we're telling ourselves about a situation. And so in the reverse, that indicates to me that there is um, an issue, there's some kind of an imbalance in how you're allowing yourself to see this situation with this person. So there's a lot of emotion here and there's probably some stories going on that you're telling yourself about this situation. And maybe some of those stories um, aren't true be very easy to bring our own stories to a relationship. All right now we're going to pull some recent energies that you've been dealing with. This is where the story will start to unfold. All right there's the Empress. Page of Swords. you I'm gonna pull these like this I'm gonna do two for you and two for your person or this might be your person and this might be you I'm gonna read it like this is you and this is your person but it could be swapped and you can just swap it in your head while I'm talking if that's how it is and I also might use um, he and she um, by accident. <laughs> I apologize. I, I am working on it. Um, I try more likely to use the neutral your person, um, but I do slip up sometimes and I don't mean to upset anybody. All right. So over here um, for your energy, we have the Empress and the Page of Swords. Now the Empress is not in her power. Um, so this is typically a power card for um, feminine energy people. Um, it's where you're feeling um, and where you're being seen as and perceived as very um, in your feminine power, which would be, um, you know, when I talk about, I'm talking about energies. I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about like patriarchal or like feminism terms. I'm talking about, um, the spiritual 
ideas of feminine and masculinity, which I understand are um, undergoing a lot of scrutiny right now, but I don't want to get lost in all of that. What this is really talking about is our allowing energy, our, our being side, our, um, and then this page of swords is, this is an energy where you're um, maybe, it's like a lack of trust is what I see in this card. This is um, maybe some suspicious energy where you're kind of, you could be being a little bit passive um, and suspicious. So you could be like in detective mode. That's what I'm feeling from this is like detective mode. You're trying to find things, trying to figure something out, but you're being maybe a little bit quiet or a little bit sneaky about it. Um, or maybe you're just like um, withholding and really not playing all of your cards. Um, some people do do that in relationships. Um, and that's the mode that this person is in. Okay, and that could be a man or a woman. It does not have to be just a woman. Um, and then the other person, this is probably your person, but it could be you. This person is um, examining, all right, we've got six of pentacles. Okay, so they're withholding. Um, this might be even how you perceive them. Um, this is how they're coming across to you as withholding and like there maybe are some options around them and that may be why you're observing them. Maybe there's a little bit of jealousy or concern about this person over here who might be looking at different options um, and maybe withholding their giving from you. Maybe, or maybe they're like holding themselves um, when I say giving, I mean giving of themselves. So maybe they're like not um, showing up in the relationship the way that you want them to be. So you perceive them as holding that or um, kind of purposefully not. This might be purposeful or not purposeful because sometimes people can feel an energy with each other so they can be holding back because you're in this energy and you can be in this energy because they're holding back. It's how we mirror each other. All right. You're holding back on an ending. You either think this is maybe over or you want it to be over. Let's see what else comes out. I think you think it's over. I think that you kind of expecting, you're waiting um, for like the death blow. <laughs> Maybe you're ready for it. This card typically, um, it's not always waiting. It's more like ready. Um, you're kind of expecting it and you're not sure when it's gonna come, but it's you've got yourself in a position where you're kind of expecting it. What's going on over here in the other energy? Okay, wishing. Wishing and dreaming. I feel like this is wishing and dreaming for a better day. Either wishing and dreaming for something better out there or wishing and dreaming that things were different in here. Seven, I don't know if this is the eight. It's not the seven. It's the eight of resources. This is actually really like actually more like a giving up energy. Um, not a, not necessarily a waiting for something to improve. This is more like a not trying energy anymore. It's wishing, wishing, but not trying. So there is, a, there, so there is a giving up, but it's like wishing, but not trying. Let's, um, 
let's pull a card for the relationship itself because this is your energy and this is their energy or vice versa and let's pull a card for the actual uh, relationship Okay, so it's some heartbreak energy. This relationship's really not in a great place. And some withdrawal energy. So you both have withdrawn from each other. And you but but the benefit the bonus side of the hermit, okay, is the bonus side of the hermit is that this is thinking, um, well, not really thinking. The hermit is not really thinking. The hermit is in a very, um, so this is like a, this is like an enlightenment card. It's kind of like the, the pre enlightenment card. It's like the person who has withdrawn, but not from a means of withholding. This person has withdrawn to observe, to relook at the way that they have looked at things to re-examine choices they have made um, choices other people have made they're starting to see the world in a different way and when this energy when i see this energy in this relationship it could very um it could mean that the space that is between you um is an offer of a blessing that gives you a chance to re-examine the relationship. So this relationship is in a state of um, some major disappointments have happened. Both people are withdrawn from one another. Um, and they're really asking themselves, what's interesting that's not here is a lot of, um, I don't feel a lot of blame what I feel here is um, an energy of asking themselves, what's next? Um, how can I, can I look at this differently? If so, how can I do that? Um, but it's not a super active energy. This is more like just letting things be, um, letting things, letting time pass, letting, um, allowing each other to do what they're doing. So, I wanna pull a few more cards. I wanna clarify a little bit more. This is gonna be like, what's, um, what do you want? What do you really want out of this situation so that you can um, take this hermit energy one step further? What do you really want from this situation? Spirit. Okay. You don't want to be an option. You don't want to be an option anymore. You just want love. Okay, you just want someone who chooses you. Someone that, you want this person to choose you, but if you can't have that person, you want somebody to choose you. You want to be the chosen one. What about this person? What are they, what are they really wanting? up holding back energy hmm what do they want they're being very I feel like this person is being a little bit um, this is kind of the clinging card they're hanging on to something 
Um, you know, it shows pentacles, but it doesn't have to be pentacles. It doesn't have to be like um, about resources. It, it, it could be, uh, it could be this person could be very wrapped up in their job, um, very, very focused on their job and it's not about you at all. Um, and that even sort of like, this is, um, so the King of Swords is a very decisive energy. This is a masculine energy that sort of um, makes a decision and sticks to it. This is very rational, um, but in its reverse, it's cutting. It's, um, it can be a little mean. It can be a little um, blunt. Um, so that could be the energy that's going on here where they're not sharing they're not sharing and they really don't want to be pushed. They might have good reasons for that. All right. Um, a couple cards about what's um what's supporting you both right now oh i didn't pull a card for the relationship okay you can stop again you stopped you've kind of stopped um offering to each other and Sometimes, sometimes that's a good thing. Like it sounds like a bad thing, but sometimes, um, just kind of pulling back from that, that needy, like I have to, you're like, everything has to be, I have to give you something and you have to give me something back and I have to, um, do this for you. And you, it's like, this is like, could be some tit for tat energy, um, that you're not, um, engaging in. So like pentacles can be about energy exchange, um, and the Page of Pentacles is always offering, all right? So somebody in this relationship is maybe always offering um, and maybe they're always getting rejected. Um, and the, this could be about no longer um, showing up to the well that is dry, um, which again can be a negative thing or it can be a place to rebuild from. Um, this is like kind of a sad situation actually. I'm feeling a little sad from this. Um, but I always think that there's an opportunity for growth when we realize that we're stuck in something that is hurting us. What we have to like focus on is um, taking care of ourselves and the opportunities for growth. So let's look at those. Let's look at what um, what's wrong. What do you have that is taking care of you right now? What's what do you have to lean on? All right, there's that. This showed up in the career reading too, that that independence. Okay, you've got other people in your life. You are um, an independent person, um, but that doesn't mean that you don't have other people in your life who can give you what you need. You Like you can be chosen um, by other people. You know what it's like to feel chosen and um, you're not alone. You're not going this alone. And then you're ready to make a decision. Okay, that's the other good thing about when you get kind of this low, you get ready to make a decision to do something differently. Could be that you have already made a decision and you're ready to act on it. Okay, this person, this person has something to say. They want to, they want to say something. This can be a little bit, um, so the swords energy can, it gets kind of a, um, a bad rap <laughs> because it can be like, you know, the idea that, that there's this cutting truth that needs to be told, but this, but, a, but a truth can also be, um, can also be just something that you really need to know. The truth might be that they've got other things on their mind. It's not about you.
Okay, this person is really overburdened and they're ready. Okay, they're ready to. They're ready to lay the burden down. Whatever that burden is, they want to I think they want to talk to you about it. They're ready to talk about it. Um and you may have this assumption that the burden is about you. Um but maybe it's not. I don't have a lot of sense, actually. The, the funny thing about this relationship is I would never encourage someone to stay in a bad relationship. Um, but what I'm getting with this relationship is um, there's a lot of sadness and misunderstanding. Um, but also just a lot that's all that holding back. Um, it can be a stonewalling energy, like a like a mean kind of holding back or it, but I'm, but I'm not getting that from here. What I'm getting from this reading is more holding back out of a little bit of fear and a little bit of, um, uncertainty about how to talk to each other. So it's, it's more like if I tell you the truth, are you still going to be mad? If I tell you what's going on with me, are you gonna, um, assume the worst about me? And then this over here is like, um, you know, I'm tired of, I'm just tired of um, not getting what I want out of the situation. All right. All right. This is, this is about two people coming together and getting something solved. Um, two people who are happy with a solution, okay? So it could be that this decision that you've made or this thing that this person wants to tell you is going to lead to growth for you both. The Empress is a very fertile figure, um, and this is about acceptance of... A sec acceptance of abundance and flow. So as a result or as a coming together of these two energies, I see that as a good thing, whatever it is that you decide, this decision that you need to make and this releasing through talking of this burden is going to come to you guys both having um, a better understanding of what's actually going on in this situation. So you really need to talk. couple more cards on this over here because if this is your other person's energy you could be really like nervous about this and I just want to reveal a few more things behind it I'm going to pull a few more cards about what's behind this what is this person struggling with what are they overwhelmed and abandoned and um overburdened with okay they're worried about you having um, a lot of emotion. They're worried about you not being, like being overly emotional. And when I say overly emotional, um, I think that some people get a real rap for showing any emotion. And then there's the people who jump to conclusions and go full out into their um, emotional kind of overdrive without being logical. And this person is has this logical sword energy. So they're probably really nervous um, that through this talk, um, the reason they're withholding is because they don't want that flood of emotion. They're a little bit nervous of it. Right. And they're nervous of it because you've been holding it back. They know it's there. They know it's there, but you've been holding it back, and they're afraid that it's gonna just that it's gonna just flow this card into the flow. They're like really worried about that. So that's why they've been holding back. And what about you? Um, some more. 
strengths here. What else do you have to lean on here? All right. Hierophant. You're feeling guided. You are feeling guided here. There's a strong sense of being ready to change. And then justice. Okay, yeah. This is this is all about being ready to make a decision about I feel like it's a it's about it really could be about staying or going. Um, if it's not about staying or going, um, you are ready to be treated better. You're ready to, um, see things more clearly and that truth is coming in. All right. So what do you release and work with to get through this? These cards are all about release. I'm just going to pull... Whoops. Wow. Okay. You're a little big. <laughs> All right. Surrender to play. <sighs> Do you feel that? Like, there's just a big breath of fresh air after all of this tension. All of these. There's so much in this reading about reading into each other's um, behaviors and making them mean something that you don't know what they mean. You're just ready you're just ready to be done with that. And whether that is hearing the truth and being like, oh, that's what you were upset about? Oh, I didn't see that coming. Um, and then deciding that you're gonna give this person the benefit of the doubt. Or if what they tell you is something that you really didn't, that you really didn't wanna hear. Um, it's about like being like, you know what? I'm just tired of this seriousness there's so much seriousness here there's no play what i noticed in this reading is there's just no play there is no um there needs to be some good feelings you know you need to let yourself lighten up do something fun it will help you it will help you surrender to prayer okay um not everybody's a prayer but giving yourself over to the universe. It says, give yourself over completely to prayer. Pray from the heart and you will be heard throughout the universe. The answers and support will arrive. You know, when you don't know what to do, sometimes the best thing to do is pray. And surrender outdated beliefs about yourself and my guides are saying, and about each other. Um, so if you have a belief, okay, about somebody else that you nurture, kind of, you hold it um, in your heart that this other person, um, that they're withholding from you and that they're doing it on purpose, um, when in fact they're withholding fur because they just have so much going on in their own mind. Um, and they're afraid of your emotions, so they're withholding because they have beliefs about you. <laughs> um, basically what I'm getting is a whole situation where you're just sort of misunderstanding each other. So surrendering beliefs about yourself and in the process surrendering. So, so maybe your belief is that you deserve this. Um, or that you always get this, you, you know, you're not going to move on to another relationship because it's always the same. Maybe they always hold back from you or maybe you're, you always feel like, like with this card, um, these two cards, this really kind of broke my heart. Okay. Um, that you always feel like you're the second choice and you just want to be the one that they picked. Okay. So that might be a belief that you have about yourself that you're holding on to. And, you know, over here, this belief, this is a belief that the, that the you know, basically that this is a feeling of like, if we have this talk, then the, then the dam is going to be broken and all of the watery emotions will just kind of burst forth. There's this belief that people lose control of their emotions. 
Um, and that's why, you know, we can't have these talks. That's why you can't tell the truth. These are limiting beliefs about yourselves. Um, so surrendering those is really, it's a lot of, um, oh, I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say. It's important. All right. Now, what do you need to help you rise? Let me know what you're reading. What's going to help you rise above this? Right. Like I said, there's a lot of darkness in this prayer, in this um, reading. Prayer? No. <laughs> um, there's a lot of darkness in this reading. you got to focus on the light. You've got to focus on your belief that you um, are better than this, that you deserve better than this. And that this other person deserves better than this also. So if it's not working for the two of you, maybe it will work for someone else, with someone else. So maybe this is about letting go, or maybe it's about giving someone the benefit of the doubt. You're gonna have to decide that one on your own. But focus on what's light about the situation. Focus on what's light in you first and foremost. Focus on where you feel lit up. And here's um, one last, I'm gonna pull a Moonology card for you. Okay, you're not breathing. Okay, take some time to breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. This is like a whole lot of really tense energy. Take time to exhale you deserve to feel relaxed you shouldn't have to hold all this inside of you okay okay what do you need to release is there something else you need to let go of to me that there's maybe something else that you know that you need to let go of. Maybe you're holding an old grudge from something that happened a very long time ago. It's not happening now. Maybe you're projecting something that happened with someone else onto this person. Or maybe you're projecting something about someone else onto this person. You need to release that. Your commitment is being tested, right? For some of you, this is about this relationship, okay? Your commitment to the relationship is really being tested right now. For some of you, that's the case, and you know that in your heart. And for others of you, your commitment, your commitment to your decision, okay? For a lot of people, this is going to resonate like, um, you know you need to end this relationship because it's just not good for you and it's not resolving. Um... You know, whatever this person needs to talk to you about. It's not a big secret, basically. This person it, it wants to release their burden and wants to tell you the truth, wants to have the talk, wants to let go of all of this tension too. They want it just as much. And for some of you, your commitment to, um, to follow through with the ending that you know is coming is being tested. Okay, so this was a little bit of a dark reading and I just want you to, if this resonated for you, I just want you to stay strong. Um, you are almost through. Um, I actually wanna pull one more card. It feels very, very heavy and I wanna end on a brighter note. I wanna end with some light. So let me pull. If you don't want this, <laughs> this little affirmation card that I'm going to give you, you don't have to take it. It's okay. Like, I'm not trying to force um, the light on you. If you're feeling like you need to just be with this heaviness a little bit and just work on playing and taking care of yourself, that's cool. But if you're the kind of person who likes an affirmation, this is for you. Okay. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love.
all right? So even this dark, um, hard moment that you're going through is helping you. Joy is the ultimate creator. Okay, remember, surrender to play. When you're feeling, when you're in your play energy, um, everything's so much easier, right? Everything's so much easier. So again, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope this reading was helpful to you. Um, if you did enjoy the reading or got something out of it, would you like and subscribe? That would be really awesome. Um, and I did just start um, a Patreon recently, and this is for the writers um, who are following me. Um, this is a way for you to participate in some journaling with me um, and also to get another reading if you enjoy the readings. Um, there'll be a monthly uh, pick a card, pick a pile style reading that will be slanted specifically towards writers. Um, a lot like what I do on here, but it's basically three full readings and you can pick the one that resonates with you or you can watch them all or read them all. Um, and decide um, which one's for you. Um, you can go check me out over there. If that interests you, there's also gonna be journaling prompts and um, a message um, from my guides. And that is gonna be over um, at my Patreon, like I said. Um, the link is in my About page. So you guys have a great day. Bye.